Morning, Morning, everybody. Happy Friday, everyone. We've made it. Today, oh, everybody. you're going to have to do it. I've just realised. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's Friday then. <laughs> I can't believe I haven't done it yet. <gasps> I haven't been here on a Friday for weeks. No. I can't believe I didn't realise. I can't believe I didn't realise. There you go. We should sing it now. We should have to sing I'm not singing it. anymore. That's what again. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> this morning um, it is a focus on the Casato Giggle Free. So we are looking at the product in full um, and I say we have got the car seat as well um, because we have some really great offers on and a great, um, lots of different bundles as well, haven't we? Yes. Um, and this morning, um, thank you to Casato, um, we are giving away a bunch of flowers. So all you need to do is join in with the chit chat, comment below, and then at the end of the live, we'll be giving... Um, drawing the winner basically um, yes. to win a bunch of flowers in ready for mother's day so you can either keep it for yourself or nominate somebody that has been a great mum um, and obviously you can nominate and it goes straight to them so it's a nice would, little would you keep them for yourself or you've been uh, a good dog mummy this year i have been a good dog mummy, <laughs> but i think i probably would pass them on yeah so nice to be oh no i'd be selfish I, never mind <laughs> she's keeping them for herself <laughs> i'll keep them for me yeah yeah, definitely. No, of course I'd give them to my mum. Oh, Joanna's singing the song for me. <laughs> it's Friday then. Yeah. It's Saturday, Sunday. Um, oh, Kelly's watching. Our Kelly's watching. Good morning. Well, our Kelly. Our Kelly, yeah. What, what are you doing watching us on your birthday? Go and do something more yes. fun. Yes, happy birthday, Kelly. <laughs> Let's see if everyone can say happy birthday to Kelly. Yeah. Our Kelly in the comments. See if everyone can say happy birthday to her. So it's her birthday today, but she's not in today. So she's watching from home. Because she's clearly got nothing better to do. Get, go and go and do something more fun, Kelly. <laughs> go and do something more fun. Eat cake and open presents. <laughs> <laughs> she's probably already opened them. I would have done if it was my birthday. They would have been opened before, yeah, about six o'clock in the morning. But we have got lots of um, good morning. So Lauren has said morning. Jody, Laura Marsh, good morning. Um, Daniela, Kaz. Oh, we've got lots of good mornings. Um, I think. Uh, I'm writing. Oh, everyone's saying I've got the happy birthday, yeah. Kelly's coming through. Oh, that's <laughs> lovely. There's a slight delay, isn't there? There you go, Kelly. Lots of happy birthdays yeah. from all, all of our. From all of us at Push Direct yeah. and all your, all the lovely, lovely viewers as well. I've all said happy birthday. Um, Joe said I would send them to my mummy. The flowers. I've oh, seen, yeah. So. Yeah, I think even if you are a mum. If you'd be like, nah, my mum, I mean, I've got to do it. My mum does do a lot for me, yeah. even now. So, yeah, I guess I would have to have, have to give it's them It's just going to have to be. Yeah, well, not, I would want to keep them for me, but I just hope that my husband buys some for me instead. Yeah. I want these. Quickly, <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> oh, Kelly said thank you, everybody. So thank you, everyone, for saying happy birthday to Kelly. <laughs> um, and they just, cool, they just keep coming through. That's so lovely. Um, but, yes, this morning... We are looking at the Casato Giggle 3, um, and it's a really lovely one to look at. I think I've, I've just read a comment, someone saying this is the push that they really like, so I hope fingers crossed after this oh, live. Oh, there you go. We might be answering all the questions you yeah. might have about it, and we might be um, solidifying your decision today. Fingers crossed, though. So hopefully um, it helps you kind of look at all the little details on there. Um, and, of course, knowing Casato, it's got the most interesting pattern, hasn't it? It's yes. Just They've got, and this comes in... I'm completely honest, one thing I didn't write down is how many different patterns the Giggle 3 actually comes in. Because yeah. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but it does come in a variety. I know that um, Mr. Fox is one of them. Yeah. Um, but off the top of my head, the others' names escape me. Yeah, but there's, you, a there's a variety. There's a whole of variety of different ones that you can available. get. Um, and But yeah, there's one for everyone, which is really great. And I like the fact that with, with the Casato Giggle 3 and with most their push chairs, everything all ties in together. They've got the green frame, the green leather at handle. Um, so, yeah, there's full detail on there. And obviously, um, as Casato do, um, you've got your, they partner with um, the Sussex Baby um, Lab and they have designed, obviously, all the patterns and all the prints. So it's not just a pretty pattern for a random no, it's, reason. No, it's not just... I always say it's actually baby first and then the outer fabric's done for parents yeah. second, really. This I is always, the yeah. initial um, reason for the patterns. Obviously, it's all about baby's cognitive development as they're laying in there. It's what they see. Um, and then they've just basically carried those patterns on so that they are um, for, yeah. for parents as well, aren't they? But yeah. no, it's babies first, really. Um, and But parents get to enjoy them as well. Yeah, I like the fact that... I would say it quite a lot. Casato is definitely a very 
um, child friendly brand, obviously. Like they think of everything, don't they? They have the little toy. They will the also little... be often be children's choice, won't they? If yeah. you're in a room, yes, children definitely. will children naturally, gravitate towards the yeah, naturally gravitate towards, yeah, naturally gravitate towards <laughs> those um, patterns. Oh, thank you, Kerry. Kerry has um, done our work for us. She told us what patterns you can get. Oh, the there you thing. go, see? So you can get the charcoal Mr. Fox um, into the wild, Thika Forest, Harewood, and Spot the Birdie. Spot the Birdie? Which is the yellow. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, so lots of different colours available. So, I'm going to go through the pushchair first and then we will get into the details of what bundles we have and the great offers that we have on yeah. at the moment. Um, so, I'm just going to pop that down there. Yes. Yeah. So, it's a really nice one, isn't it? I do love this one. So, Giggle 3, aptly named as its three wheeler. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it's also third generation, the, but I think it's quite handy that it's called the Giggle, the Giggle 3. Giggle 3, there is a reason for it. Um, so, the Giggle sort of um, variation, they do also do the Giggle Quad um, and the Giggle Mix. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we are focusing primarily on the Giggle 3 today. So, as you said, you've got that lovely pattern on your carry cot. You have your zipped apron on here also that you can... Um, to it back and you've got that lovely nice fleece lining on the inside of that there your mattress obviously a pattern follows all the way through you can remove your cover on here which is always a bonus yeah. and you can also remove all of the liner of your carry cot for washing as well um, which just makes life easier doesn't it yeah just anything to make life a little bit easier we did have a comment yesterday someone saying what's the clean push the easiest to clean i think casato there's a few other brands but casato definitely have def thought of it they do they? think of it and um another another way that they have thought of it is with their bumper bar so obviously the bumper bar is um sort of uses their handlebar um in this scenario because obviously with the carry cut you don't necessarily need a bumper bar but it is used as um its handle yeah you've got buttons on the inside so you can gate open it and you'll see on here, this has a zip. So that whole um, bumper bar cover can come off yeah. to be washed as well. And it's just got that foam underneath it there yeah. as well. It also protects your bumper bar from little ones' grubby fingers or teeth when they get a little bit bigger. Yeah, because that will happen. <laughs> um, but that's really, really nice that they've thought about that. Hood-wise, you've obviously got that nice um, big size hood there. You do have a little sun canopy at the front here, which you can pop away if you wanted to. Um, obviously, when it's less sunny and you do want that slightly more clear view of baby. Yeah. And I think the other thing that's really nice that they've thought about, you've got these little hooks on here. Okay, so there's one on both sides. So you could attach a toy to. But then if you open it, they've also done the hooks. Oh, I'm not going to be able to pull them out now. No. You've also got the hooks under there as well. So whether you've got the sun visor out or not, you can yeah. still add your toy to it, um, which is great. Stops a child from chucking them out of the pram. <laughs> it's, um... it's that when you're walking along do, like, near schools often, you'll yeah, often find a sock or a, a rattle or, or something that's clearly been thrown out a of a child pram. A child has been here <laughs> at some point. We know that. And sometimes they're perched on school fences as well, where if someone's found yeah. them and gone, oh, I'll leave that there. They might come back for it. <laughs> Dry it out if you're all right. <laughs> You do also get your little um, toy. So obviously, depending on your pattern, your toy will change, but they will come included. And it's got this little Velcro strap. So obviously, yeah. you can don't have to use it just on your bumper bar. No. You can take it around with you anyway. You it's want really to. cute because I have to say it's a, a little friend for your little one. Yeah, so take them sweet. everywhere. It's just like like we say, it's very children orientated, isn't it? Yeah, the definitely. Itself. Um, when I want to take my carry cut off, I've got my big round buttons on the side there. I'm going to press those in and lift off. I find the carry cart and the seat mute very light. They are very light. And then, like I say, you've got that bumper bar in the middle, which is then obviously centre balanced for your handlebar as well. Yeah. Which is um, great. Jo says, my almost five month old has learned to throw things now. <laughs> oh, I've, I've, I must admit, I yeah. feel, I you feel your pain. need everything attached to like the child, <laughs> or the child, or, or bouncy string, <laughs> so it comes back. But no, they are. The they worst can. thing I find is children with cups on a high chair that I don't know what the oh, entertainment is. And the noise is. they make when they hit the floor as well. And the, there's just drink <laughs> everywhere and it's just, and then you put it back up and you can guarantee by the time you've even got stood back up, it's back on the floor yeah. again. It's always yeah. the way. We've got on the bottom of our carry cup, we do have our nice little feet. Okay, so that's nice that when we do pop that on the floor, 
it doesn't mean that obviously that very base of the caricot is sitting on the floor. Yeah. Um, and then you can um, also use your caricot on here for occasional overnight sleeping as well. Mm. So when, you know, when, when summer comes around and we're allowed to go out to places again, because it's getting closer all the time, it isn't is. it? Um, you'll be able to use that in place of a travel cot for the first six months. Definitely. People are loving the design of this one. It's such a really nice colour because you don't see many green per shares. No, um, you don't. Not really. this colour, especially this colour green. You normally see more of like your um, more teal, I'd say. More like a really like mm. brighter tealy colour. Um, yeah, no, green is a bit more of an unusual one, isn't it? There's lots of blues and pink ones, but yeah. So I'm just going to pop my seat on like so. Now with your Giggle Three, you will get your seat unit and your carry cot unit, but you get one hood. So it's just a case of popping your hood off. Yeah, swapping your hood and your bumper bar, which is great. It's not only environmentally better, obviously you've got less things obviously um, that have to be made, but also for storing, it just means you're never going to need two bumper bars and two hoods at the same time. So it just means you're just swapping it over, makes it a lot easier, a lot quicker, um, and it is very easy to do. So you can transition it in it's a matter like of so. minutes. Using the, my Velcro just on the sides and I'm done. It's Marie not says, a big job at all, is it, no. really? No. Maria said, great that it's lightweight, especially people like me who suffer with back pain. Especially, that's definitely something they have thought about. Um, they are, all their push chairs are classed as small boot friendly, so they can all, they've all been testing a Fiat 500. Um, so this will go into a Fiat 500 push chair, mm -hmm. which is really handy to know, um, because some people still have those smaller boots. Guaranteed it will go in and it'd be absolutely fine. I'm um, having a mare now, sorry. There we go, one back. I don't think you were even in shot, so no one needs to know that. No. <laughs> I was not having a mare at all. She's lying, everyone. She's lying. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. So I Zara has also said one hood and bumper bar is also a lot better for storing too. That's what I was going to get onto. Yeah, it's better for storing. You've not got as many components to no. store. I mean, look how much... Obviously, I can concertina this down yeah. um, because there is a framework in here that I can undo. It's not going to go flat, flat, but by removing that bumper bar I've or and the hood, I've already made it smaller. Yeah. So there is less to, yeah, definitely. to worry about. Emma says, good morning, ladies. A bit late to the party today. Don't worry, you're here. You haven't really missed too much. We've just started to look at the Giggle 3. Um, but obviously, as with all our lives, they will be put onto our Facebook page and at YouTube at 8 o'clock tonight. I've learned that one. Oh, is it designated time? Well, it's her birthday, so we will give her a bit of you know, leeway time. But I believe she does maybe 8 o'clock the oh. same day. Well, we'll keep an eye on you, Kelly. Make sure you're doing it properly. Birthday or not. Yeah. <laughs> James has said, this is my first live. I normally watch on YouTube. Any other men here? Let us know. Comment below. Are you a man and you watch him? We do, have, we do have some men join us. Yeah, but thank you for joining us, James. Um, we, we are currently, say, live. So it's nice that you're joining us when we're here. Yeah. Um, but um, as with all our lives, if there's anything else that you would like to see, anything that you find more helpful, you can always just write in our comments and we will always kind of add that to our recommendation yeah. list. Yeah, also there's a message as well, but yeah. if there's something really specific that you want to look at, um, obviously when you do that, the chances are someone will put back to you. You can always book one of our appointments, but obviously if yeah. you're not looking for an appointment, you're just looking for some general advice and you think other people might find it helpful as well, drop us a message yeah. about what it is that you'd like some advice on and we might be able to fit it yeah. um, See, see one of the lives about it. James, you're not on your own. Matt has put, yes mate. <laughs> yeah, it's there as well. That's our second man that's on. Fingers crossed we get more people coming in saying there are, they are watching. But yes, um, thank you. I love it that everyone joins. I think it's great though because then when you go to, when you, if you do come to a shop, yeah. um, you'll be able to look all cool, like, knowledgeable. But also it's great because now you're both in the chance to win the flowers, which you can then give to your... Yeah, whether it be your own mums or your, your partners. Or yeah, someone who you think has been a great mum, you can pass it on. It doesn't even have to be a mum, because I was in um, Asda getting my cards. I oh, shouldn't confess that really, does it? It's not very... Anyway, um, and there was a card in there, and I thought it was really, really lovely, because there are families out there, and it said, it takes a great dad to be a mum too. Yeah, I was, I was really sweet because there are families out there where obviously dad does both roles. And yeah, so or if dad if, wants if there are dads that does the mum role, so... <laughs> yeah, if, if, if dad wants a bunch of flowers, then fine. Although you do get your turn in June, so... Yeah, there is that, but... <laughs> <laughs> um, Maria, so can the handle move for people who are taller? Um, you mean the handle on the push chair? Yeah, it does kind of have a pivot handle, so it will come higher up. But we will get onto that when we look in the frame. Um, so, yeah, don't worry, it will kind of meet yes. most things. Right. 
I'll get to it, I'll get to it. Right, so. so I, I'm always the same, people are like, what's the fold line? I'm like, <laughs> I'll you know, get in there. I'll get in there. You know me, I like a chit chat. <laughs> um, so obviously with moving that hood over, your hood stays exactly the same. Um, so you've still got that nice, obviously, like I say, your hooks and things on there. Yeah. You've got, um, again, like I say, your bumper bar can gate open. So for loading a little one in and out, makes life a bit easier. This push chair is actually suitable up to 18 kilograms. So yeah. 18 kilograms should get you to about three and a half, four years, we would say. Obviously, there's no rule book on weights of children. Every um, child is very different. Every child is different, but 18 kilograms is what we would generally find on the weight of, for example, a car seat harness. So it is estimated to be roughly that yeah. around four year mark. Um, but it's nice that you've got that slightly extra cover there than your average 15 kilogram one. Yeah. Um, you do get your five point harness, just pops open. Nice and easy to do back up. I love the fact that the straps are all matching. It's so cute. So all their straps will match depending on the pattern of the pushchair. They're not yeah. all. No, I don't think two harnesses are the same, are they? No. Throughout the whole range. No. Um, and you have got obviously your integrated footrest in your seat as well. And as you can see there, the fabric is different on the bottom there. Is that more wipeable um, fabric at the bottom, which is great um, for helping keep things clean. Yeah. You've also got, using your buttons on the side, you do have four different recline positions. Yeah. Which is, I mean... Typically, I'd say you normally get three, don't you? So it's You're normally quite good at this. What's 18 kilograms in pounds? 18 kilograms is pounds. So it's times two, you want to times it by roughly 2.24. There you go, Zara. <laughs> now, I can't do that in my head right now. 18 would be 36 point, so somewhere between 36 and 40. Yeah. Metric system, it's messed well, everybody up. <laughs> But yeah, I, I think, think you'd I'm, be the best person to ask because I'm you're not sure it's multiplied by, or is it multiplied by 2.42? Oh, you've got me thinking now. Somewhere around there. It's somewhere around there, yeah. 18 kilograms. If you always want to send it, let us know. Obviously, you can always send a message and we can help you out that yeah. way as well. I do tend to use Google Convert a lot. Oh, I do, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's definitely over 36 yeah. pounds. Um, Claire's asked, is the footrest fixed position or can it be moved? No, it is in a fixed position. It is a fixed one on this one. Yes, you can see that like, you've got that solid frame there. Mm -hmm. But like I say, you do have that nice integrated footrest in it. Um, so like I say, four nice reclined and then to take on, on, off, press those buttons in and lift up. And I'm going to spin around. around. So I just put, thank you, lol. <laughs> Does that mean lots of love, Zara? Because we had this conversation yesterday. Oh. Yeah, I did hear about this. I wasn't here to witness it, but I did hear about it. Oh, Margaret has answered 38.7. I was close. Oh no, so she says, oh no, sorry, it's 39.7. I'm still close, I said between 36 and 40. Yeah. So I was just in. 39.7, hopefully that helps. Oh, thank you, <laughs> Margaret, for answering a, a question. So that would be two stone oh, God, here we go. and a little bit more. <laughs> in case you want to know. <laughs> well, maths at this time in the morning is, is not... Um, oh, I don't know if anyone else has watched, just, just to go on a complete tangent, but have you seen The Circle? No. Oh, I know it. I've heard, like, I've seen it advertised. There's someone on it. there pretending to be Rachel, is it Rachel Riley of Countdown? Yeah. And they had to do maths the other day and they weren't very good at it. I was like, oh, they're going to get <laughs> caught out. Um, yeah. Sorry, Gillian has asked, can it be used from birth? So with a with carry, carry cot, cot, yes. Which she gets included, but not um, with the pushchair seat. The pushchair seat can be used at the earliest, six months. Yeah. And um, just obviously, it's just as you recline the seat, you can see there it retains that bucket shape to it. And obviously in the first six months, we do want baby to lay completely flat, yeah. which is why we say that this is only from six months up. So but I was put, haha, that was my sister-in-law. Our, our auntie thinks it's lots of love. <laughs> <laughs> it would be nice if it was lots of love. Yeah, but like I was saying yesterday, there's certain things where it's meant in two different, like lots of love and laugh out loud. It can be taken in the wrong way if people don't know. Like Kirsty said, that she used to do like obviously what I talked this morning when I said uh, oh, what to be to be frank. frank. I said people just probably talking to people and it's like a different conversation, like from what they receive into what she actually meant. <laughs> I do think that with emojis and that though, sometimes you can send an emoji and it can be misread to what you mean. Yeah. Because yeah. there was one that I didn't know. Though I thought it was a kissy face. It turns out apparently it's a whistling face. Oh. And I was like, oh, I didn't know that. I was always sending. I always thought that one was 
Well, I still, I still don't actually know. Can someone tell me? <laughs> but the hands together. Is it high five or is it praying? Because <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's a few on there that, uh, yeah, I don't know what they're for, yeah. but... I mean, the poo emoji, we all know what that means, but <laughs> there's some on there we just don't know. That's that nice. one gets sent a lot um, for new parents back and forth, I should yeah. imagine. I know what it did with us. Um, so I'm just going to pop the seat off for now to look at the frame. Um, it's like our, that changing mat we sell, eat, poo, what is it, eat, eat sleep, poo, poo repeat. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing, that's the most appropriate thing you could possibly find for a child, uh, for a newborn baby. Um, Fiona says, also, someone I know use, uses lots of love. As LOL, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we all need an education, obviously, on, on, on emojis yeah. and how to shorten them. Maria said, I ones. use it as praying hands. See, I thought, that's what I thought it was. And then, I, then people told me it was high-fiving, like when you said school I've got to admit, I always thought it was praying. But I know. it comes up when look, you... Is when, it, would you say it's high-fiving or praying? Oh, see, I always thought, when you said thank you, it comes up. So I always took it to mean, like, thank you. I don't know. <laughs> We digress. We digress. We're good at this. Right, let's look oh, at the frame. Emma of the said, I know I just heard about the poo emoji. Emma said, I read somewhere that the poo emoji is supposed to be ice cream. No, surely not. We've not all been using that wrong all this time. <laughs> Can you imagine if it's meant to be chocolate ice cream? <laughs> we can't have all been using it wrong that lot. Claire, at one point, wasn't the poo emoji supposed to be chocolate ice cream? Have I missed something here? I've, I've always known it to be the poo emoji. Right, we're getting off of emojis now. We'll, we'll find out the answer, don't you worry. We'll contact them themselves <laughs> and that's what it means. So, I know we had a question earlier and as you can see, just pressing the buttons in on the side, I do have an adjustment on my handlebar. It is a pivot handle. Yeah. Okay, it so that's very sort high of your though. highest setting. Obviously, as you get it high, it will mean you're moving slightly closer to the push chair, but I mean, that's a good height, isn't mm. it? That's, um, so for a taller parent, it'll still, still work. I like a pivot handle if there's a huge variety in different heights from yourself yeah, and your partner. And then it goes really, really low the other end. So. Yeah, if you've got um, older siblings, that want to have older siblings, they can help push. So Zara's right put, there. I'm shocked. Yes, yeah, so am I, Zara. I can't believe it. <laughs> I don't know if you're shocked about the push chair or what <laughs> we just went out. I am shocked that the handle pivots that high. Um, <laughs> yes, but normally the conversation changes to food. Today, poo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just be, uh, it's got to be one or the other. So there you go. Technically, we're still involving food in some way, or other, but you know, if Kirsty was here, we all know food will get involved. Well, I've not come across a snack pocket. So well, that's there, is a, why. there is a little pocket on the back of the seat. Well, a little mesh, mesh pocket. Now, it's more designed for their rain cover. Oh, yes. You could technically have your snacks in there if you wanted to. <laughs> Georgia would. <laughs> we all know her well enough to know that yep. Georgia would find some curly whirlies slotted in there, probably, because they're nice and thin. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, no, this is too funny. Matt has put... Wait, it's not funny, it is funny. Matt's put... Reminds me of when my mum texted me and said, can you ring? Your dad is ill. Lots LOL. And obviously oh. he took it. <laughs> See, that's the thing. That is the problem. Wrong. That is in a scenario where it's be taken in two very different <laughs> ways obviously she meant lots of love <laughs> but it could be taken as laugh out loud yeah that wouldn't be very nice would it? Your, dad, <laughs> your dad's ill ha 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 like no i don't <laughs> think that's how she meant it. no definitely not claire's gone these lives make my day well you know you're welcome <laughs> they make our day let's be honest we have a good old giggle um right then so if, i'm gonna get back to the frame yeah now. i'm gonna be quiet because i keep yeah, distracting you shush. um so I've lush locked my front wheel, okay, which is just done with um, that little button just at the very front there. Okay, so down for lock and up for nice and loose. If you pop it down without the wheel aligned, it will auto align for you. Okay, so you don't have to necessarily have the wheel in place before you lock it. Um, basket size. Not the biggest basket in the world. It's but a different you shape. You will isn't it? find with any three wheel pushchair because your frame narrows at the front, your basket is always going to be a little bit more compromised, as it were, because obviously it's going to get narrower at the yeah. front. But it's still quite deep. Yeah, um, Debbie has just said the basket looks nice and deep. It yeah. definitely is deep. So everyone's slightly different in what they're using. Not use the correct basket. shape for a baguette. No, it's not a baguette friendly. Although Zara said Georgia approved pushchair equals snack pocket, <laughs> which is correct on that one. Yeah. Check. Dog friendly basket? Question mark. No, it's not dog friendly basket, is it? <laughs> I mean, my dog is small dog, but she won't fit in there. No, I don't think she would. She would probably, yeah. She and would. I think she's over two kilograms, isn't she? Mm, yeah, only by about eleven kilograms <laughs> over. 
So yeah, so two kilogram weight li limit on your basket. Um, you've got your brake at the back, which is nice and flip-flop friendly. Obviously, I'm not in my flip-flops today because I'm not quite in the summer mode oh, no. yet, but you can just click off like so. And then I'm just going to fold it. I'm going to go this way around just so that the camera can see all my buttons. Oh, Claire's, Claire's dogs will fit in the basket. Claire, what dogs have you well, got? I say, teeny tiny dogs. Little chihuahua. Puppies. So I've got a little red button here, just on the inside. Okay, so I'm going to press that in with my thumb and then I've got a trigger on both sides that I'm going to pull up. And then it's going to drop down like so. And I can pop my um, handle in to make it that yeah. little bit smaller. It's a longer fold, isn't it? But it's say it has been approved for that small boot. Um, so like a Fiat 500, it will go it's into very it. Very light as well. Very light, yeah. Again, they thought of everything. They really have. Um, so if you, you wanted to get it in a Fiat 500 boot, I, off memory, I do believe it's a case of removing your rear wheels, which... <laughs> you've got a bunch underneath. There yeah. you go. Just a little button in there to release those. So if I was to take both of them off, for instance, you could see that's just made that little bit smaller. Yeah, and you carry it, and then your seat unit can slot on the top, obviously, in the car. Um, or you can have it on its side as well. Um, Claire has a, she's got chihuahuas and a Maltese, so they're super tiny. Mm -hmm. Not like mine big. No, I've got a French Bulldog, so she's not, she's not massive, but, and then you've got <laughs> bigger dogs, haven't you? Yeah, I've got a big fat lab and um, a mongrel. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I'm just going to put my seat quickly back on before we go through car seat parts, because once you're in... There we go, world facing mode. You can actually collapse it all down together if you wish. Yeah. So it adds a little bit of height on, but. Yeah, it's not making it the smallest. No. But it is going to allow you to get in the car a bit quicker. Or let's say you're getting home from a walk yeah. and you just want to get it down a bit smaller in the house. You can do it all in one if you wanted to. Definitely. And then obviously just. Open People it. loving the fold the same way. There you go. Claire said it's such a skinny pram, it is. And it's light, it's very manoeuvrable, it kind of meets a lot I, of people. I'm a big fan of three-wheelers, I do like a three-wheeler. Yeah. But as well as how light it is, it definitely makes um, it a lot easier. Um, Michelle, I never thought to take the wheels off, I've got a Mini and I've, I've been putting the frame in the back seat, it's a game changer. Yeah, try it. See you will it find a lot of brands do have some sort of release function for their wheels. Hmm. Your strollers is when you, you will, probably won't be getting them off strollers as easily. No. Um, but your travel systems, you will tend to find there will be a bit of button somewhere that you can. Um, there are a couple of brands. Um, there was one I was building the other day. I can't remember which one it was. Oh, it was one of the Vinici's where the axle for the wheel is separate to the wheel so obviously just bear in mind that if you do take them off they could come out but oh, yeah. they're all different but you will find that there's there is ways of removing them and it does generally make your fold that bit smaller yeah we always recommend it sort of like for those longer journeys if you're going on holiday for instance and you need especially staycations at the moment because i yeah. think that's probably the primary way we're all going to go on holiday this year um you will want obviously a bit more boot space and therefore just take your wheels off and then you've got that extra yeah. room Claire's asked, do they have buggy boards with four year with four year old who doesn't want to walk and four month old that only only four month old only wants one push chair? Um Cassard themselves they don't make a buggy board, do they? No. Um but they you can get universal buggy boards. I know Zara mentioned in the beginning of the live that she would like to look at buggy boards as an option, so we can always add that on. Um, so we have got universal options that will fit. Um, but obviously, if you wanted to, and um, we can always, if you send us a Facebook message, we can just send you some links directly to some that you are that will work and is compatible with yours. So we've gone through the push chair. Do you want to go through the car seat before we talk about bundles, or should I go through bundles first? I'll do car seat. Should I think okay. that'd be a good idea. So um, with the bundles, say we've got here. So the Casato, it comes with the hold car seat. Now this is the hold um, car seat. We've I've had it fitted on the rig, um, but say your car seat obviously has the base. But say I'll show you it all because you can get it in a bundle obviously without the car seat, just the car seat on its own, or you can have it with the base as well. It's a really nice one, an easy one to look at. Um, do you want your little adapters? I was going to say I'll, I'll nick your adapters because I can put them on. Yeah, push here. 
Um, but it's a nice one to look at. It is on the R44 regulation um, and it will last little one around about from birth to 13 kilograms, which is standard on um, most, um, if not all, infant carriers. Um, and it's a nice one to look at. It's a nice petite with the base. It's not a chunky base at all. Um, and what we would always recommend is things like you have your hood up. But a great thing on here is just like their... Um, push their seat, they have your little hooks on here, so it allows you to kind of transfer that toy or any toy of their choice, you can hang it onto their car seat um, and obviously have it dangling to keep them entertained because they need something to keep them entertained obviously in the car, um, which is really, really nice feature on there. Um, we do sell things like obviously your um, back seat mirrors, you can have those, um, which is a great thing I always say for first time mums, it's always something we would recommend, um, it just means you're allowing them to see little one because obviously all infant carriers are rear-facing in the car. Um, Sorry to jump in. Joe me can do buggy boards still void warranty? So obviously we did just discuss the buggy board thing. Every brand is different. Um, yeah. Every brand has its own warranty with its own sort of terms and conditions. So it is always worth checking that. Um, it's good that you are aware of that because obviously sometimes it can do. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just check the terms and conditions of your warranty, which will be with the actual manufacturer of the Yeah, but most of the time, depending on the company, like, like Laura said, um, it's it is most likely a case if you was to put a universal buggy board on a pushchair frame, it may void that warranty on your pushchair. And if the company, say you've bought an upper baby and you wanted to have a buggy board, we always recommend using their own branded. Yeah. It's designed for them. So with your Casatos, your warranty is always four years. Yeah. We don't know the exact terms and conditions off the top of our head, I'm afraid, because if we could remember that for every brand, we would have brains like yeah. full of full of stuff and I just I can't do it. Um no. so but obviously like we said, because they don't do their own, you would is that a knock? Hello. It's Jo. It's me. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? What's this happening? This is not meant to happen. I was like, this is not planned. I don't know what she's doing. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Have an awesome Mother's Day. All you mothers and mums to be and grandmothers and everybody. Dads, we said dads. That yeah. Dads, mothers. yeah. Dads that act as mums, you never know. I mean, my, my daddy, my, my daddy, my <laughs> husband's doing a lot of daddy daycare at the minute, so I do think that Jackson probably thinks he is mum now. <laughs> <laughs> Day for mums, though. Yeah. I'm really yeah. into it. Thank you, ladies. Sorry, no, you're welcome. Your little card. No, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's our prize. It's <laughs> 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 our little present of the day. We got a card. What, can I see what it is? I want to know what it is. Just, should we tell them? Oh, <laughs> there you go. So, uh, Joe has just brought this in to let you know. And um, we have got a discount code, and it's on until the end of Sunday. So, Sunday at midnight, midday, uh, midnight, sorry. And we have got 10% off all full priced items. Um, and the code to add at the checkout will be Mother10. Um, but I say it will be on our website, but this is just exclusive onto our website. So, if you go onto our website and you've maybe been holding off on a purchase, you've got until Sunday at midnight. Um, and you can get 10% off any full priced items. That was our little present. Okay. I'm not lying, it is on here. <laughs> she could have brought the chocolate in. Just I saying. honestly thought she would get in both her flowers. I thought that's what we were going to have. But no. No. We didn't get a both um, flowers. So, Severija, I'm really sorry, forgot mm -hmm. that wrong, has asked, is there any different colours for the car seat? So with the bundles that we're offering at the moment, it is just this one colour. So it's just the grey. Um, um, however, um, there are bundles available that, so the ones that are currently on offer that we will be discussing will all have the grey car seat, but um, the full price items, there are other ones which has matching car seats as well. Um, Zara, oh, love a discount. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. She just wanted to bring the good news. That's all she wanted. That's all she wanted, all right? Um, but yeah, it's it's a really nice one to look at. Um, with this being an R44 seat, um, obviously, if you are wanting that upgrade to an ISI seat, um, all you need to do is just give us a, the store call um, or Facebook yeah, message. And we can put together either another bundle for you or we'll give, discuss the options for you. Yeah, there. we can always but discuss any more options. Th we've bought this car seat in because it is the one that we're doing all the offers on the bundles for at the moment. Yeah. Um, but I say it's a nice one to look at. Um, you can have your hood, say, pop down if you're having it on the pushchair frame. It just allows you to see into the car seat. Um, and then to say inside the car seat itself, um, you have got um, a nice amount of inserts. So you've got that head hugger, it's like a fleecy head hugger, which is really lovely, um, and the rest of the body support as well. So it's a really nice one to look at. Um, and then you have, so you can take this insert out with the wedge. Obviously, when child is around about like two to three months old, take the wedge part out, um, and obviously then the car seat will grow with this one. So it should go up to around about your 12 to 15 months in age. 
Um, and then we do get a lot of people as well, don't we? Messages going, oh, how do I know when to take the inserts out? Well, it, there's, there's no really hard set no. rule book on every it. baby is the different. The guideline is 60 centimetres, or like we say, two to three months, but every baby is different. Now, if you get to two, three months and you go, wow, my child looks like they've outgrown their car seat, the chances are those yeah. inserts need to come out. Yeah. Um, we do get a lot of people going, oh, they've outgrown it already. I'm like, no, haven't. Don't panic. No. Take your inserts out. They'll sit back further in the Move seat. Move your harness. And You'll then, suddenly yeah. see they've got a lot more room. Um, it, they kind of have that appearance of where they sit, feel like they're sat on top of the car seat rather than kind of sat into it, um, which is what what they need is really to be sat on top of the car seat and essentially in those first couple of months yeah. rather they than want to be in. flatter. Um, but obviously after that point, it is a case of your child looks a little bit too big because they just need to be sat in. There's a whole wedge of space that child could then fill. Yeah. Um, the head hugger one is especially a common question. And I always say, as long as the head is in the head hugger, then mm. it's, you, it can stay in. As soon as they're sitting on the cushion rather than inside that yeah. U-shaped cushion, then it obviously needs to they've outgrown it and it needs yeah. to come out. It needs to come out. Um, but yeah, you can have this car seat fitted with this adult seat belt or you can have the ice fix seat Emma, belt. Emma Williams. I did just that, baby brain. I forgot to take them out. My baby looked like a sausage roll. <laughs> Yeah, yeah they can look a bit stuffed in. Not yeah. careful. <laughs> yeah. Um, obviously, another thing as well is obviously no thick jackets, no thick coats in a car seat. Because essentially, there will be that air and that extra padding between the coat and little one's chest. So obviously, in a crash, that harness will kind of squish the air out, and there's going to be that gap. The best, say, if you you want to check how thick if it's suitable, what you need to do, put a little one in the car seat, do it up how you normally would if they're wearing that thick jacket. Then do it again, take that jacket off, and then you'll see the difference. Um, you want it to be tight, and you want um, a two-finger gap between strap and little one's chest, and not be able to spin your fingers round. So it's a nice little indicator and an easy way of knowing. So Marie has put my mo my first Mother's Day and my 30th birthday as well on Sunday. Oh, well, wow. big day for you then, Marie. Hope you yes. get spoiled Hope with you lots get of lots presents. Of flowers. Um, Claire Whiteley, I should keep tagging my partner in this video to remind him it's Mother's Day. He's a typical male. Mm, yeah. yeah, if your children are really little and they're they're not, yeah. you know, they don't know it themselves, you do sort of feel like going. By the way, it's Mother's Day on Sunday. Just yeah. FYI. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not your mother. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm the mother. You of take our child. that two-year-old shopping and he <laughs> buys me something. <laughs> but you need to choose it because I don't think what a two-year-old yeah. can choose. <laughs> choose anything. Um, but it's really, really easy to take off the base. Um, you have got your uh, kind of a grey push button at the back, but I really like the little safety feature they have. So you have to slide your first lock over, push back, and then you can remove. Um, and obviously now you can see both of those have gone red because nothing is fitted. It's a great little indicator to know that it is on there correctly. And then that gives you a little bit more of a clearer look into the car seat. And then, say so your base, um, your base is a nice easy one to fit as well. Um, so your isofix points, obviously if you are wanting to check if this can be compatible with your car, again, just send us your information and obviously we can have a look for you um, and we can always let you know which ones are compatible um, because not all have been tested and been um, approved for every no, car. No, I mean, Casata do have a really good car fit checker yeah. application. On their actual website. On their actual website. So we, do, we, we, we ourselves use that a lot because obviously we don't know every car brand and no. if they've got what they've got. Um, so it's really good. All you need for it is the age and model of your car. Yeah. And it'll be, they'll be able to tell it's you. It's really, really easy and really simple to do. Um, for example, a lot of people like you have that if you don't in your car with the underfloor storage. Yes. So I can't have a support leg in my car because um, I've not got a solid base on yeah. the bottom of my car. The only way that I could is if I went to my car because it's a Peugeot. Took it to a Peugeot garage and I, I had my um, understore, underfloor storage um, padded. padded in. Yeah. So yeah, everyone's the same, that's what I mean, everyone's slightly different. But the base is really, really easy as well. You've just got your green indicator along the bottom, um, just notifying, obviously, that that has got enough support and it is supporting the <laughs> Joe Meekin, my, my 15 year old. So we were just saying, I don't know what you'd trust a two year old to buy, but my 15 year old wants to get me Fortnite V books for Mother's Day. Now, I don't know what V books means, but I, I do know that Fortnite what? is a game, isn't it? It's an she's, Xbox she's or a clever woman, game. isn't she? She's, she's going, <laughs> if I get this, I can play it. <laughs> Very, good. <laughs> Very good. Very <laughs> good. Yeah, um, see, I'm. I'm, I'm terrible. I wish I was better at gift, gifting. I'm not as good as gifting as I should be. So you find that there's certain people that it's really easy for. Like me and my sister, we, we, I, if I go into a shop and go, oh, I like that, then I can go, 
Emma will like it. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas then, like, with other... I struggle with males, so Mother's Day is not so much of a problem, but no, when it comes to Father's Day, I do struggle. Males are a lot more practical, they? Males a lot more practical, well, tend to be. Um, I'd be happy if anything. I'm like... I want to see if someone could give me a little bar of chocolate and I'd be the happiest person <laughs> in the world. Right, noted. When your birthday comes around, that's all you're getting off me. May 24th, um, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so we've looked at the car seat. So I think now is the best time to sort of go through your bundle options. Yeah. Oh, um, just I have popped my adapters on here, so you could just uh, pop that on Slot there as on. well. That's when we find out we brought the wrong adapters in. Or you've got them on way round. Have I? <laughs> I've just popped the adapters on wrong. Bear with. Or we have them on one. Technical completely. glitch. Technical glitch. Yeah, I had got them on the wrong way around. There we go. There we go. They're just clicking. Like as you so. can see there your car seat clicks on like so. And what I really like about removing this car seat off of here is... You don't have to find the, the buttons that are typically here. No. They're buttons at the back of the car seat. Oh, and the and memory one buttons. one of them is, I was going to say, one of them is a memory button. I'm doing this completely the wrong way around. There you go. And off. So you have an M on this side. Should I do that again so everyone can see. So it's less of a two-handed... I mean, it's still a two-handed job, but you're not reaching over, yeah. which I think is really, really nice. So you can see here, you've got your M, so you can push that in and it will stay in. And then I've got my button this side, push in and lift off. So look at that. Look at the ease. Just makes it a lot easier. Claire Whiteley's asked, Georgia, you are a fur baby mummy. Are you getting anything for Mother's Day? Well, I don't know. Harry, if you're watching, Georgia needs, Georgia needs a fur baby mummy Mother's Day present. present. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do. I definitely deserve it. Anyone that's had a puppy knows. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so that is how that works. So, bundle-wise, so we do have some really good offers on this at the moment. Um, for your pushchair alone, which obviously includes your carry cot, your seat, your one hood and bumper bar, and your pushchair frame, typically would be £474.95. It's currently on sale for £299.95. So really good offer. that's a really good offer there to start with. We then get onto your bundles. So if you wanted to have it as a travel system, you can have it with the pushchair, your car seat and its adapters. Yeah. So that is already classed as a travel system because you don't have to use the Isofix space with your car seat. You can, you can. seat belt the car seat in, so yeah. you've already got a travel system there. Typically 64995 but it's down to 39995 so yeah. that's a full three-in-one travel system for less than four hundred pounds. That's they say it's such a good price, such a good offer. Yeah. We then go up again to what they call the marvelous bundle. Mm -hmm. So this one includes the same as the previous, but you also get your changing bag and your foot muff. Now, your changing bag and your foot muff. So obviously, it only match it does match, which is a great little feature. Changing bag is a good size, and it has lots of little magnetic pockets and um, lots of space to. To store everything in. I just see an air bag in there. That's not what's just in there. <laughs> you do get to carry around with you just a bag of air. It's all you need. <laughs> it's the lightest thing in the world. <laughs> no, obviously you take that out. Yeah. Um, and then that can say, I like the fact that if you have your handle in that um, kind of like 90 degree angle, you can have the changing bag hanging. You can have it a lot tighter, a lot looser, whatever you prefer. And there you go. And then also what you get is your um, three-in-one foot muff. I do love a Casato foot muff. It's probably your best foot muff, the most practical foot muff I've ever seen, to be entirely honest. So what you get, and as you see it here, like your fleece um, foot muff, great for those colder months. And you get your little kangaroo pouch. I can get my hands in. See so a little kangaroo pouch to keep your hands in. So nice when, when little one's hands are that little bit smaller and they're a nuisance at keeping gloves on, you don't have to worry because yeah. they can just pop their hands in there. You don't have to stop and five minutes. And they've got it both sides as well, so it doesn't matter which way you're. No. So whether you it. have it, so you'd have it. So if I had to pop it on, you'd obviously put your straps through here. But one great thing I find it will always stay up because you have your little hook around the back and your velcro. So that will tuck around the back and you put your velcro on the back, so it will always stay up. You don't have to pull the foot muff up every couple of minutes. So we did have a Casato stroller, like you're saying, it's the same feature. But I'm just going to mimic that without having to take the hood off. But you can have it tucked over your bumper bar, like, like so. Or if it's really, really cold, you can have it tucked up. And 
really shield yeah, away. Yeah, look how cosy that looks. Cosy toes. But not only does it do that, it's classed as a three-in-one, so you can have it as a, a kind of a fleecy foot muff. You can take the front apron part off and just have it as a fleecy liner, or it's reversible. So you can have it as a reverse, um, and it's kind of like wipeable, um, easy material. So that's what they really class lovely. as their summer liner, isn't it? And then the nice thing there is, I mean, we say it a lot. If you've watched, you, you know, we're probably preaching to the choir at this point. Yeah. But a liner makes keeping your pushchair clean so much easier because this yeah. is a lot easier to shake out and wash crumbs and clean and things than your whole pushchair. Yeah, because you tend to get like food all in the creases and things. <laughs> at least then you can test that off, shake it off, pop it in the washing machine, and then you're good to go. Laura Marsh, I wish a bag of air was all I needed. I'm, I, oh, I'm in twins. everything in the kitchen sink. <laughs> I can imagine. You've got everything and doubles. <laughs> With having twins. Um, what do you use as a changing bag? But it must be a nice big one. I've, Marie Lodington, I need about three bags. Amazing how much you need just to go out. Yeah. In those early days, you do sort of think to yourself like, God, can you remember those days when you used to go out with just a handbag? It, they do come back. Those days do come back eventually. Yeah. So don't panic. You will eventually get to a point. Or you like you can... me, and I don't have a child, and I have I bring everything with well, me. Well, yeah. Or you like Kirsty, who has Mary Poppins bag. Oh yeah, Kirsty has everything under the sun in her bag. The other day, I just was randomly in the office, and I just went, "Has anyone got a pair of tweezers?" Because I'd broken something and yeah, I needed she to tweezers. pinch it. And she went, "Yep." She's like, "I'm learning to put a little <laughs> kit in her bag." It's crazy. It's like, what have you not got in there? So as we were saying, the marvelous bundle. So obviously. Same as your travel bundle, but like you say, you do get your foot muff and your changing bag. And that bundle would normally be 77495, but that's currently on offer for 499.95. So you get under all of that for pounds. under 500 pounds. Yeah, and then the last bundle will include that isofix base um, as well. Um, and obviously everything you see, so your changing bag, your foot muff, the stroller. Yeah. And so the basically coffee. everything we have out yep. is and coffee, your, yeah. um, and that's called the whole nine yards bundle. Normally retails at eight nine nine ninety five, which I still think is a good price because everything you see here for nine hundred pound. Yeah. But it's currently on offer for five nine 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 five, so that's three hundred pounds off. Yeah, really, really good. What a it? saving! Yeah. Um, so yeah, really, really good offer on there. Yeah. You do, um, like I say, there are options out there that if you do want to upgrade to your eye size car seat, do get in touch with us because yeah. we can arrange that for you. But just for bundle and and with the current offers, the current that we have. offers that are on. You can't go wrong, really, no. can you, with that? And obviously, don't forget the Mother's Day. Um, Mother's Day 10, and that gives you 10% off anything full price until midnight on Sunday. Yeah. Um, should we tell our little interesting fact about Casato's fabrics? Oh, yes. We forgot about that. So, um, you may have heard us spoke about in the lives before, we say um, UPF 100 protection on, this, on the materials. Um, Casato go, again, above and beyond with that, don't they? UPF 100 plus um, protection on all yeah. their fabrics. Um, and do you want to explain what that means? So, because we had someone ask us, didn't we? And we were like, we know what it means, but we, yeah. we don't know how to describe it, but we know how to describe it now. So, if you are a UPF 100 plus, it means that only 1% of your ultraviolet radiation can penetrate that fabric. Yeah. And that's obviously then works down. So, if you're a UPF 50, it means 2%. 2%. Um, or 1 in 50 yeah. is another way of doing it. Um, so, obviously, the lower the number, the less, less coverage it's yeah. got. The so more coverage have gone give. the whole other way and gone all the way up to Yeah, UPF they've gone above, above the 50 plus and gone all the way to 100 plus, which is crazy and it's really, really good. Obviously, they have done that. So um, lots of protection for your little yeah. one, which is great. Obviously, not really essential at the current weather, no. but when it gets to summer, <laughs> yeah, it's really good to know. Definitely. So there you go. So if anyone ever asks you, what does UPF mean? Say the girl that the share expert We us. know. <laughs> um, Kirsty needs to do a Mary Poppins changing bag live. That's from Zara. That would be hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> just would, yeah. to dig all the stuff out, just to see what she's actually got hidden in there. Um, uh, we, need a, we need a chit chat live where we can just chit chat. That's our just sit with a cup do. of coffee and like, gas. We're the new this morning. We're not going to um, go and do anything. We're just going to chit chat. Zara Cave, I need recommendations for a bag big enough for the twins and an 18-month-old. Leave a it with us, Zara. Backpack. <laughs> yeah. The biggest backpack you can possibly find. We will get you some links sent to you, Zara. Don't worry. Um, Send a message and we'll get a link sent to you with some the best ones to get. Because we have got some big ones, haven't we? We do, yeah. Like the, Baba Bing the Baba ones. Bing one's really big, isn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, Something that you don't want to carry on one shoulder because that's going to hurt. Oh, look, Laura Marsh with her, she knows a good bag. I have a bugaboo changing bag for the donkey and a Peg Perego bag yeah. to go with the triplet and then a changing bag for the car. She loves a bag. <laughs> Lots of different bags. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, any chance you can write the code in the chat or I'll forget? Thankfully, Claire Whiteley has beaten me to that, but it is Mother 10. Mother 10. <laughs> Mother 10, add it in the checkout and you get 10% off anything yeah. full price. Chances are, because a lot of our promo codes quite often when you go on the website, there will it's be a banner pops down just to refresh you. Yeah. But um, we, we might will, be able to yeah. pop it in the... And um, we'll, in no doubt, we'll have a Facebook page uh, post coming up yeah. very shortly with it on there yeah. as well. So check our Facebook out. So we've gone through our Giggle 3. Are there any questions at all? Whilst you think yeah. about that, we will just remind everybody that obviously all your comments are going in for the prize draw of a bunch of flowers just in time for Mother's Day. And that has been presented to us by the lovely Casato themselves. Yeah. So lots and lots of comments today, so they will all be in the entry for that. Um, so I don't know if I've got anyone... Got any questions? Not got any questions that I can see. Just any recommendations of... for any lives that maybe you want? Trisha Savage, good tip there. She's got two bags, one in the house and one in the car. Always prepare. Yeah. That's a good tip. That is a good tip. It just means that if you then don't, like have to leave somewhere last minute and you haven't repacked your changing bag, you've got one ready already. Mm. So. Claire Whiteley, how many patterns does the Giggle 3 come in? I think, did we say Five. five. Five different patterns. They are all on our website, so if you just type Giggle 3 in, they will all come up. Yeah. Um, I don't, does, does Paloma do a Giggle 3? No, I don't think so. No? No? On the prowl, leave that Giggle quad. You're asking too many questions. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, so, yeah, so no, there's at least five. <laughs> um, but that's absolutely fine. Five. Oh, Krispy Kreme comparison live. I'm down for that one. That's Claire, a really good idea, Claire. Leave my Krispy Kreme. <laughs> oh, that would be a really good live. That would not be a problem. <laughs> yeah, I'm down for that. I am happy to arrange that one. I can only tell you which one I don't like. We'd be fighting over who did that live, wouldn't we? Well, yeah. Mm. Seeing as it was just to us, I think it's naturally just come to us to do Krispy Kreme live. Oh, that's Krispy Kreme. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. McDonald's live. <laughs> You just had a text about Domino's. We Domino's, do. yeah. Did you, everyone know? Um, should I tell everyone what you can get? <laughs> I've just had a text from Domino's. You can get any large pizza, garlic bread pizza, wedges and cookies for fifteen ninety nine. There you go. Mother's Day treat from Domino's. <laughs> yeah. It's Friday night. It's, it's terrible. takeaway night. It's terrible I actually get that text to me, but you know. Yeah, I think all the takeaways in, in Boston probably know you by name now, don't they? Yeah. Uber Eats, my best friend. Um, someone has asked, how tall is the push chair? Um, should I check on the website? So I don't have the exact dimensions um, of the They height should be of the on our website. Chair. If not, um, obviously send us a message and we can, and we can easily over. quickly do the measurement for you. Um, just to give everybody a bit of guidance. I'm five foot seven. Five foot six, five foot seven. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Don't know if that helps. Um, Absolutely. And I say it's about your average height for sure. I wouldn't say it's too high, too low. No, I think I think it does go a good range though with your with yeah. your tipping handlebar. Right then, I don't think we have any more questions, so I think it's probably time to see who, who our winner is. Our lucky winner is. Obviously, I say whoever our winning winner is, and um, all they need to do is send us a message with their details, and obviously let us know. You don't have to have it sent directly to you. You can have it sent to anybody, anybody that you would like, and um, it can go directly to them. Absolutely. So um, if you get all that information to us as quickly as possible, because then we can ensure that they're in time for Mother's Day. Yeah. <laughs> Don't wait till Saturday to text us. No. <laughs> That'd be me misorganised and, you know. Right then. So, <laughs> oh, Claire Whiteley. Josh Howell, Mother's Day on Sunday. I think that's a subtle reminder. Yeah. <laughs> I had to remind my partner this morning. And I said, have you got your mother a um, uh, Mother's Day card? No, you didn't tell me. I know, it's always I'm down not to a walking diary. It's always down to us. Yeah. I've got my mum one. Mm. You always have to organise everyone, don't you, around him? Right then, so I'm going to start to flick. Did you through. see? Kirsty was had, had the iPad yesterday. Well, did she? She's like, I'm did she do dare? It. I'm going to do it for once. Laura asked me yesterday, but I didn't dare. <laughs> it's quite a lot. She went, she went really quick with me on Wednesday. I only just started. And she yeah, so yeah, I like to let everyone kind of get all the way to the top and then go through. Stop. 
Lauren Sharp. Lauren Sharp. Well done, Lauren. So either yourself um, or you can nominate anybody to win the Mother's Day flowers. So all you need to do is to send a message to the, for the details that you want to send it to. And obviously we can get that sorted for you and get it okay. with you for Mother's Day. Yeah. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. <laughs> pick me, pick me. Sorry, whoever that was, I missed Yeah, it. unfortunately we don't get to choose. <laughs> Thanks, um, fair game, fair game. Zara, thanks ladies for another great live. Oh, well, You're we hope welcome. you've enjoyed it. Oh, we're we're going to go and eat our dinner now because we're very hungry. We have to talk about Krispy Kreme donuts <laughs> and Domino's and McDonald's. and McDonald's. Yeah, my stew doesn't suddenly sound quite as tempted. Should we just order Domino's? <laughs> <laughs> We've got an offer on. Why not? <laughs> Why not, eh? Why not? Um, so yeah, have a lovely weekend, everybody. Obviously, do enjoy Mother's Day on Sunday and yeah. um, we will be back with our lives on Monday at, well, around 11 o'clock, not at 11 o'clock, around who it is. 11 o'clock. Um, <laughs> We're normally quite good at, we were, we were bang on time We were early today and then I went, oh, I haven't actually got my mic on. <laughs> so yeah, we would have been early, but Georgia wasn't I was dressed. too organised and I was like ready to get, so I was like, yeah, no mic on. So we could have got on, on time, but it then... It would have been alive, you could just hear you all. I was going to say, you'd have been quiet and we wouldn't have been able to hear what you were saying, but yeah, um, yeah enjoy your weekend, guys. Um, yeah, have a lovely weekend. Stay safe while, we're, while that's still relevant and uh, we'll see you on Monday. Yes, thank you for joining. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.